Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. with U.S. Classic Muscle Cars and we're here at the Rosemont World of Wheels Convention and right now I'm here with the owner of this 1969 Chevy Chevelle and your name is? Edwin Slusher of Streamwood, Illinois. All right, Edwin. So tell us a little bit about your car. Like give us a little history on it. Well, it's a 69 Chevelle SS 396 mm -hmm. with a 670 horsepower Dart Engineering race motor. Wow. Full roll cage. It's got a Don Stanley uh, Turbo 400 transmission. He was a famous guy to build transes for Arnie the Farmer Beswick and mm -hmm. been around forever. He passed away a couple years ago. Oh, he wow. was one of the last transes he built was the trans, so it's kind of sentimental. Wow. And then I, I got the drive shaft all redone with all heavy duty stuff. Mm -hmm. That was at Suburban Driveline. Mm -hmm. the, got a strange rear end in it, a 342. 12 gallon uh, fuel cell in the back. Oh, wow. They used to race it back in the day, like the late 90s, mm -hmm. middle 2000s, up at Great Lakes Dragway. Oh, wow. And uh, this is pretty much everything's all stock except mm -hmm. for the motor and the roll cage. Oh, okay. I, I try to take it to local car, car shows here and there and uh, mm -hmm. just to have a good time with it. Sucks down the gas, but. It's a, it's a nice car to ride around in and everything. Oh, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit about the paint. The paint, as far as I know, was repainted maybe like 20 years ago. Oh, okay. I've, I've owned it about five, six years. Oh, okay. So it was all painted back then. It does have the original cowl induction hood at home. Oh, okay. Except, except for with the dart motor, the intake manifolds higher. So that hood wouldn't, wouldn't work, you know, closed. Oh, okay. So then we have a different one on it that's <laughs> still metal, but the cowl's a little different. Oh, okay. so that So that it would shut. Okay. So you got your bucket seats in it, a whole oh, full roll wow. cage. Yeah, do you mind if uh, we look in the interior? Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> the roll bars, they come out and stuff. It's kind of hard to get in with them. Oh. I just I just got them uh, powder coated over at Fox Valley Powder Coating literally about two weeks ago. And I figured instead of going black, why not get a really good, cool color? You, anybody could do black. But, right, right. And then they had this list of 6,000 colors. Uh -huh. So this one was like part burgundy, part purplish with metallic. I like I that. that. Cool. And yeah. I got the little rat in there because <laughs> it's the Chevy Big Block rat, and then oh, we got the, okay. the car club rat racing. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then the, underneath the hood, we got the the 540 Dart racing engine, which is 670 horsepower. I believe it's 11 and a half to one compression. Okay. And then I got the. The Ron Davis fan setup, it's like 4,400 CFMs between the two fans. But when I first got the car in like July of 2012, uh -huh. it was running hot at stoplights and stuff and traffic. Uh -huh. The old guy had just a regular like, old owner. Uh -huh. Spent all the money on the motor, oh. but never put a good cooling system in it. Oh, so I, I figured see. it took me a while to save up for it, but I went with the really good cooling fans and everything oh, for nice. it. <laughs> so have you taken this to the track at all? I haven't taken it to the track, but off the record we have taken it down a few back roads late at night. Oh, that, okay. That was okay. pretty quick. I want to take it to the track. Uh -huh. I just haven't got to that. Oh, but, okay. Uh, sometime soon, hopefully. Yeah. So do you let anyone else drive or is it just you? Well, it's kind of funny. Actually, my sweetheart was looking online, uh -huh. and she found it when I was, like, oh, looking for something. Oh. So I kind of, like, I'd let her drive it, mm -hmm. but I mean, I totally trust her. 
She doesn't want to drive it because she feels maybe it's like too racy or something. Oh, it's like yeah. too uh, too much power for her. I think she can handle it, but yeah. she doesn't really want to drive it. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, that was nice of her to find this for you. Yeah, that was definitely cool of her. <laughs> wow. We went and looked at it. Was in sorry. Uh, sorry. It was in Richmond, Illinois. Okay. So it was right over the border from Great Lakes Dragway, which ties everything all in of right. the little, it's got the little stickers on the quarter glass in the back window still from the drag strip. Oh, when they so would certify. Cool. Oh, and nice. then I have a picture of it doing a wheelie. But that was oh. with a smaller motor. Mm -hmm. That was a 496 and then the guy threw this 540. Oh cool. Very cool. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. And I love the license plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rat I had I had that uh, actually done for I have a Trans Am too, so that's more to bandit. Oh, but okay. rat is this is black, so it looks bandish, you know, bandish ish. Right, and right. And then the, the rat ties in with everything. So. Oh, that's cool. Sticking with the theme of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much. For, All right, thank you for doing the interview. And yeah, everything. and make Honored sure to be on it. Oh, thank you, and uh, make sure you check us out on U.S. Classic Muscle Cars, and be sure to subscribe. I will. Okay, thank All you right, so cool. much. All right, thank you. Definitely. All right, have a good one. Thank you, you too.